Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I've posted anything, and, well, to be honest, life has happened. That, you know the saying, life happens? Well, that's kind of what has been going on lately. So, it is what it is, but I have been continuing to work on the F15EX mod, and version 2.0 is almost ready for release. It's right around the corner. So this, of course, includes the AIM 9X Block 2 Plus, the AIM 260 JTAM, both of which you can see on my wings back there, um, enhanced radar range, and of course the two seat upgraded or custom cockpit with the Wizzo animated in the back seat, as you can see there. Now, what it will not include, I've been getting questions about this a little bit, is the AIM 174. That is a Navy missile, and as of right now, at least the Air Force hasn't adopted it. They do have their own program going called LREW, Long Range Engagement Weapon. Um, but that, we don't even know what it looks like. I mean, as it is, you're getting my take on the JTAM, which is basically, it, it looks a lot like a, uh, a smaller version, I guess, of the... Uh, Pack 3 um, Patriot missile by Lockheed Martin. And we don't even know what that missile looks like. We certainly don't know what LREW looks like, and I'm not totally sure that the Air Force is going to adopt the AIM 174 instead. They might, but then again, they might not. So time will tell on that. I've also been having a lot of trouble getting the AIM 174 to work right because of how it high it lofts. It tends to either want to go to space or because of how heavy it is it will fall sh far short of the target. So it's been a very finicky missile and honestly the AIM-260 is more than enough. We are definitely within launch range now even though the uh, F-15EX fire control system won't really admit it. Fox 3 and Fox 3. That is the one thing that I do have to try to fix is the spiraling of those missiles. Apparently Eagle Dynamics has changed something with missile code so now the thrust vectoring or value or something like that is about 10 times greater than it should be so the missiles have a tendency to overcorrect a lot. So that's what we're looking at right now. I just launched two of these at a pair of flankers out there off my nose, J-11s. And they should have no problem hitting those guys. None whatsoever. But with all that being said, do note there is a screenshot competition going on right now. It's going to close before too long, probably within the next week or so I'll close it. Um, but it's an opportunity for the community to get involved and for you to submit your screenshots of the F-15EX, the version that is currently available, um, and compete to see whose screenshots will be included as the main menu theme for the F-15EX and DCS world. So when you open up DCS, the splash screen, the briefing image, all that that good stuff, the loading screen. Um, you guys all have an opportunity to have one of your pictures, one of your screenshots, be one of those images in the mod. So if you're interested, head over to my Discord server and find the appropriate channel and send in the best that you've got. I look forward to seeing it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you think I deserve it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.